Yes, I mean, what I hoped to get was a sense of where Africa is at on this agenda, uh, on what the leading thinking is, and uh, also to learn myself. And all of those expectations have been met. No, I think the coverage was, was comprehensive. Uh, I was encouraged to see that a lot of the discussion was about going beyond philanthropy, so that suggests that there's a maturity that's emerging in the market. And there's some very critical and challenging voices, and that's exactly what we need. Well, what I hope is that we'll see far more um, challenging of what companies are calling CSR, and uh, picking out some of the contradictions that we see with many of the companies who have CSR programs but are doing things that are actually undermining that, whether it's negative lobbying or poor supply chain practices or tax evasion. I think we need to start uh, holding companies far more to account and uh, this is a, the sort of forum where we can discuss those contradictions and those case studies. I think the most important thing is that uh, Africa needs to stop looking for the answer abroad. I think what we really need here is a homegrown version of CSR. Of course we can learn some lessons from overseas, but actually my main point to this conference was that the overseas approach in the West has failed, and so why would you copy it? Uh, I think uh, Africa has the opportunity to leapfrog to a new version of CSR, CSR 2.0, which is far more transformative and which really reverses the trends that we see uh, uh, that, that the sort of CSR that's been practiced uh, in Europe and the United States My name is uh, 